Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna walk you through this super simple, well it's actually, it's not simple at all, <laughs> but it's one of my favorite glam looks to do and it's using my holiday kits with Milani. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Also, grab a snack and grab your makeup. That way we can get ready together. So I'm starting off with my brows first. We're doing a full face look today. So I'm using my Oma Beauty 2-in-1 Brow Styler. Absolutely love this brow pencil. So you get a brow pencil on one side and a tinted brow gel on the other and this has still been like my go-to brow product I actually like just ran out of it after I finished filming this video so it lasted me quite some time and I have not even used my brow pomade ever since I started using this product because it is just so good it's so convenient the formula is amazing and it comes in a couple different shades and you can just get it at Walmart it's really affordable it's under ten dollars so I like to just outline my eyebrows first and then go in and just fill them in and follow along with my natural brow shape they always look a little crazy after I'm done but that's why I always Always clean them up no matter what kind of look I'm doing and like always I'm using my NYX full coverage concealer you could honestly use any concealer or a stick foundation if you want more of like a thicker formula to carve out your brows so after I clean up the brows I like to just go in with my elf flawless concealer brush just to blend away that concealer and then I will take a spoolie and just spoolie through my brow hairs just so everything is coated nice and evenly throughout all of the brows And then I'm gonna move into eyeshadow, of course. I'm gonna prime my lids with my Rare Beauty Eye Primer, another favorite. This is so good, definitely worth a splurge. I know the Sephora sale is still happening, so get your hands on this if you need a new eye primer. And for today's look, I am so freaking excited to use my palettes from my holiday kits with Milani. So I'm starting off with the We Did Something eyeshadow palette, which is the bronzy toned one, and I'm gonna use that soft brown shade as my neutral blending color. Whenever I do most of like my smoky eye looks using these palettes, this is usually the first color that I always use because it's just truly the perfect blending color. This is a great color that you could also just throw into your crease with some winged liner and lashes as well because you can always build it up if needed. So love the shade. Next I'm going to go into the color right next to it which is a little bit deeper but it has a red undertone to it and I'm going to take that in the same spot where I just applied that previous shade just to emphasize and define the crease a little bit more and going into that gold bronze shade you can see how pigmented it is. It's like one of my favorite colors in the palette to apply all over the lid. But I'm going to take that and I am spraying my brush because the finish of this is very glittery and it just helps for the glitter to stick and pop a little bit more with the spray. So I'm just kind of packing that on and I'm going to stop about halfway on my lid because I am going to go in with a different shade in the center. And I'm also, of course, going to deepen up the crease with some other colors as well. Then going into the Like a Dream eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take the lightest pinky iridescent shade. This is another favorite color. It is so pretty. Like I can't even describe the color, but it has like this really pretty like iridescence to it and it just adds such a pretty pop to any look. I love just kind of throwing this on the center with my finger or you could use a brush as well because it's just, it just has the prettiest finish. Then I'm going to take that matte burgundy color very lightly. I like to start off with this pretty lightly and then just gradually build it up. And I'm just going to use that just to emphasize the crease. And I love the way this looks against the bronze. It just, I feel like, makes it pop. And the two colors complement each other really nicely. And I ended up switching brushes. I wanted something that was a little bit more dense just so I can really pack on that color and get it to be really intense. The first brush that I used was a little bit more fluffy just so that I could place the color down. But then here I'm just really packing it on and making it a little bit darker. Then I'm just using a fluffy blending brush. This one is from NYX just to blend out the edges a little bit very lightly. And here I'm just taking a brush with that light pink shade and just adding that back into the center a little bit more. And this look definitely calls for some winged liner, so I'm going to use my favorite Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. If you guys have not tried this, you need to. It is super matte and black. It's like $3 at Ulta, and it is my favorite liquid liner. It's so easy to do wings, and I'm just obsessed with this formula. So I'm just doing a pretty dramatic wing, because I feel like this look is a little bit more, you know, dramatic and smoky. So we need some dramatic wings to go along with it. 
Then I'm using the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, I'm going to go in with lashes, but I always have to do a quick coat of mascara. This just helps to blend your natural lashes in with your falsies. And I'm using the Beauty by KGM Lashes in the style Lust. These are perfect with this look. I love these. They come in beautiful styles, and they're super affordable, so I will link them down below for you guys. Then, you guys already know, Skin Prep is my favorite. I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is one of my all-time favorite drugstore setting sprays. You can use it before and after makeup to set. I'm going to use it later on, but I wanted to just give my skin a little extra boost of hydration. And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have this one in the shade Medium 4. This is so beautiful. It gives you like this inner glow from within, and I've been loving it with so many of my favorite foundations. It really is such a stunning product. Shout out to you guys for recommending me to use it this way because at first I was using it over top of my foundation, and I feel like it's not nearly as beautiful as using it underneath of your foundation. I know it's pricey, but it is worth it. Then I'm going to go in with this stick foundation from Huda Beauty. I recently rediscovered this in my collection whenever I did my full face of nothing new last month and I cannot stop using this. It is so beautiful. You can see it is so skin like. has great coverage. It's long wearing and it's just absolutely stunning and you could use this directly on your skin and just apply it that way or you could take your brush and apply it directly from the product itself and then to your skin. So either way you're going to get great coverage and it's going to be lightweight and beautiful. For concealer, I'm using this one from Rare Beauty, another favorite. This just melts into the skin and also has great coverage. And I'm actually using a Beauty by KGM Beauty Sponge. This one is so bouncy and soft. I will link it down below. That is the same website where I got the lashes from, and I've been really loving this beauty sponge. If you need a new one, this one's amazing. Then to add some color back to the skin, I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario Soft Shaped Sculpting Stick, and this one is in light medium. I go back and forth between light medium and medium depending on how bronzy I want to look, but I love this product. It is also so easy to work with, and you can make it really natural. You can intensify it if you want it to be a little bit darker and more intense. I'm going to go ahead and set with the Haley's Retouch Soft Focus Setting Powder. I'm going to just blend out my creases before I set, and then just take that same beauty sponge and press that powder right under the eyes and on my T-zone. This is my favorite. It looks so beautiful every single time and it's one of those like go-to powders for me that I always go back to because it works and it's so smooth and beautiful Then to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder. I love this because it's really smoothing, but it's not drying on the skin, and it sets your makeup beautifully. It's also great for touch-ups. And then to add some powdered bronzer, I'm using the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is really light, but it's really smooth, and it just adds a really light wash of color. This is just one of many looks that I plan on doing with my holiday kits, so stay tuned for more. And I know this is a voiceover, not everybody loves voiceovers, but I just wanted to like kind of switch it up. I find these to be low-key very therapeutic sometimes, and I won't do them very often, but just once in a while. So anyways, going in with this Juvia's Place Blush Duo, I'm taking that lighter pink, and I'm just applying that on my cheeks. I love this color, but it just adds such a pretty wash of color, and these are also buildable if you want to intensify the color a little bit more. Then for highlighter, I'm going in with the Milani Cream to Powder Highlighter Duo in the shade Spark Plug. If you guys have never tried these, you need to. The formula is amazing. You get a cream and a powder. If you want something more natural, go with the cream. And then if you want to intensify it a little bit more, use the powder. Sometimes I do a little mixture of both, and I love this formula. It just adds this really pretty healthy glow to the skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my brows with that same Oma Beauty brow product. For the lower lashes, I'm going back into the Like a Dream eyeshadow palette. I'm taking that burgundy color and just smudging that on there, getting it nice and smoky. And by the way, I cannot get over this color, like the burgundy with the bronze. Ugh, it's so pretty. I love the combo. And I'm applying this LA Girl Metallic Eyeliner. I'll leave the exact shade down below. It's like a metallic kind of brown liner just on the waterline. And then going back into this light gold from the We Did Something eyeshadow palette, I'm going to pop that in the inner corners. This is a really pretty color. You could also use this on your lid as a highlighter. It's stunning. 
And I meant to do this earlier. I normally do this before I apply my highlighter, but I'm going to use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder just to give me a little bit more of a bright under eye look. I've used this before, but I recently like kind of rediscovered it again in my collection and I've been using it like every single time I do my makeup. It's beautiful and it's super affordable and it doesn't give a white cast. So we love that. I'm also coating my lower lashes with some mascara and that is pretty much it for this look minus lips and setting spray. For lip liner, I'm using one of my favorites. This is the LA Girl Nude Lip Liner in the shade Maple Glaze. I love this formula. It is really creamy and pigmented, and these come in beautiful colors as well, but I specifically love this shade with so many different lipsticks. It just pairs really well. So I'm going in and topping that off with the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crown. Again, this is also in my Rising Star Kit, and I truly feel like this shade will look good on everybody. It is such a wearable pink, and you could always maneuver the color to be a little bit more pink or less pink depending on the lip liner or gloss that you use over top. I love it because once I blend it out with my lip liner, it starts to look kind of like my natural lip shade, but a little bit more enhanced. I just top that off with some NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Baby Pink, just for a little glossy moment. Love the formula of these, and I went ahead and set my makeup with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, which is an amazing setting spray, but I wanted something a little bit more glowy, so I just added a touch of the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Always an Optimist Spray for a light little dew. And that officially completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave all the products that I used down below in the description box and I will also leave restock info if you guys are interested in my Milani holiday kits. Thank you all so much for the love recently. I cannot thank you enough. I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!